Clement Moore was never an ordained Episcopal priest, but he devoted much of his life to the Episcopal Church and contributed a great deal to the Episcopal Church. Uh, welcome to another one of our vlogs from St. Mark's Episcopal in Dalton. Uh, it is uh, one of two vlogs we're going to have to uh, this week of the week of Christmas, and invite every. Uh, I'm glad that everyone has joined us, especially those from YouTube and Facebook. Uh, I'm talking about Clement Moore, and Clement Moore was uh, quite a Episcopalian. His father was the rector of Trinity um, Episcopal in New York City, one of the more renowned Episcopal churches. And his father went on to become bishop of the New York Diocese, then president of King's College, uh, which uh, eventually became Columbia University, which in those days was an Episcopal institution. Uh, Moore was valedictorian, the son was valedictorian at uh, Columbia, and then went on to get a master's from there. Then he became a, a scholar writing about the New Testament and wrote a, a very scholarly and renowned book called The Lexicon of the Hebrew Language. And so he was an authority on the Hebrew language in the New Testament and uh, served as a, um, a seminary professor for over 30 years. Now, strangely, that's not what he's mostly known for because in his other career, he was a real estate uh, a developer. It turns out that his maternal grandfather owned much of the property in North Manhattan before it had been developed. And uh, he, uh, his parents uh, inherited this, Moore's parents. So the, this was given to Clement Moore when he just was 34. He was deeded this land. And he was very smart and um, knew what to do. So he subdivided the land, began developing it. He gave, gave a great deal of land to the Episcopal Church. In fact, he gave the land for two of the prominent parishes in New York and also a General Theological Seminary, which is the oldest Episcopal seminary in the country. In fact, the oldest continuous service Episcopal uh, or seminary in the um, Anglican Communion. So uh, Clement Moore uh, did that, but he was... Uh, a very renowned and influential Episcopalian. But his biggest influence today comes from something else he did. When Clement Moore was in his uh, younger 30s, he wrote a poem for his children. Now, you probably, I'm sure that you've heard of this poem. The poem is, "'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a mouse, uh, was, well, a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon will be there. And of course, we all know that poem. It's called The, um, uh, the Night Before Christmas. This is the original version of it. It was, uh, in fact, it's called the best known uh, poem written by an American. Uh, it was first, uh, it, it, you know, it released in the Troy, New York Centennial in 1824 anonymously. Clement Moore did not claim credit for it for about 10 years of this. So, yes, Clement Moore was a devout Episcopalian. He was honored for his scholarship. He was appreciated for his being a benefactor. But the Christmas, for this Christmas and every other, Moore's best gift to us was "Twas the night before Christmas. And we can thank an Episcopalian for these words. So... Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.